Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Well, this morning, the mayor of Ypsilanti is under fire for controversial comments made during a city council meeting. During a vote to renew a city board commissioner who is African American, Mayor Beth Bashir said, since I will be crucified if I vote against any black person, I will vote yes. After getting backlash and calls for her resignation, Bashir posted on social media admitting her comment was racist, saying she is committed to learning. If I were to resign, that would not allow me to do that. I need to take responsibility for my actions. There is the question of whether this can, you know, how she can uh, gain the trust uh, of not only council members and staff, but of the community. City leaders say it's not the first time that the mayor has made racially charged remarks. Mayor Bashir did apologize on Facebook, saying that she was deeply ashamed and saddened. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan getting the word out on how to save money under Michigan's new car insurance law. If you do nothing, you get the same policy and the same bill. And that's why the insurance companies aren't contacting you. They're perfectly happy with you keeping the same thing. You have to act for yourself or it won't change. So contact your insurance agent. A key part of the law allows you to choose your level of personal injury protection. We're told some may save hundreds, even thousands of dollars. That law takes effect July 2nd, and you can find more information about it. WXYZ.com. Turning out of the continued fight against COVID-19 here in Michigan. Yeah, the coronavirus has claimed the lives of 26 more people in the state. That death toll now stands at 5,818. And the state also reporting 225 new cases of COVID-19 on Thursday. And Governor Gretchen Whitmer is extending the state of emergency in Michigan until July 16th. That is separate from the state home order which is no longer in place. Whitmer says that the state of emergency will allow her to continue taking action to protect families and workers. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.